Yo, what's up Giants fans, Hub Watchers, YouTube and Rumble subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at it again with another New York Giants update video. This one is kind of, it's going to be a quick one. Not that much editing to go with it because it's, I don't know if you could consider it breaking news, but it's certainly news that wasn't there before and kind of popped out of nowhere. Uh, but it's also very important, right? So it seems like it fulfills all the requirements needed to be called breaking news and obviously the reason for not it not being editing i let you guys know last night i'm doing a lot of like work homework and then preparations for my finals regarding this semester right now and this video just had to be squeezed in in the middle of all that but for those of you that are wondering what it is um it's with daniel jones and his neck injury and according to this giants wire article and the reason uh, the way i'm phrasing it is according to is because i haven't seen anybody else sort of co-sign this yet or even report on it in the same way yet but according to this giants wire article daniel jones has suffered structural damage to his neck and now this is something very serious very important and just very very terrible if true when you suffer structural neck damage in football, that's a sign that you should probably step away. I'm going to be honest with you. You should probably step away from the sport. You don't want to risk that thing being damaged any further. You're talking about your neck, man. Your spine. You break your neck, you're dead. You break your spine, you're paralyzed. All of that is right there. And this man has suffered very serious damage to it. Uh, playing for the New York Giants. And before I get into the article, actually read the article, I'm going to share my screen real quick in a second so you guys see what i'm reading to you uh this report is from giants wire like i said and they got the information off of new york post uh reporter paul schwartz so those are the two sources that we're getting it from and once again like i said it has not been co-signed by anybody hasn't been reported by anybody else so i don't necessarily want to say take it with a grain of salt but any other phrase that could be used here is escaping my mind right now and, and, and like articles like this reports like this whether it's true or not and of course we all are hoping that it isn't true that he suffers structural neck damage it just makes you think back to the giants in the past 10 years man and we haven't exactly made anybody's career great other than eli but eli's career was great before the past 10 years um we've kind of we've kind of ruined some players careers honestly this right here, for some reason, just reminds me so much of David Wilson. Um, that running back we had, what was it, 2012, 2013? Um, I can't even remember uh, if it was like if it was his fault or if it was the team's fault or something. But, you know, he had his own neck and spinal injury and he had to step away from football after, what, two or three years of playing for the Giants. And I'm not even blaming the Giants necessarily. It's just a sad situation we've been in where players just don't succeed here anymore man and um a lot of it has to do with injury but let me get to the article let's see what they have to say there is one part basically where it uh it, there's one piece of information that basically suggests it's the giant's fault uh, and when i read it to you, you you'll see why that is so let me uh share the screen right here so yeah, you guys should be able to see it now as you see the article title Report Giants Daniel Jones suffered structural damage in neck uh, by Dan Benton. This is on Giants Wire. Let's just read through it. New York Giants quarterback Daniel Jones joined Ronnie Barnes for a trip to Los Angeles to get a second opinion on his injured neck earlier this week. The result? No chains. Jones will not was not cleared for contact and remains a limited participant in practice. He will miss his second consecutive game on Sunday against the Los Angeles Chargers, and there is no telling how things will progress after that. In terms of updates right now, he still hasn't been cleared for contact, head coach Joe Judge told reporters on Wednesday. He'll continue to go out, I mean to go through practice like he did last week. He'll throw with the team, he'll move. He's in all of the meetings we'll see if anything changes in terms of status but he's not been cleared for contact there's not an immediate timeline this could change quickly it could change over time talking to the doctors and the medical team there are some things that just waiting in terms of making sure that he's cleared for contact and when it comes to necks backs things of that nature we're not going to take any risk with our players are you sure about that the reason i say that is because i'm just gonna Skip over these three paragraphs right here where he says we're not going to make risks with our players. 
That's a lie. I very clearly remember last year when uh, we put Daniel Jones at risk by making him play in that Arizona Cardinals game. And Joe Judge looked us all in the eye and said that Daniel was clear for, for, uh, for play, that he was healthy and that he could protect himself. Anybody that watched that game clearly saw this man was in no position to protect himself and it worsened the injury. And then in addition to that, here's the part of the report I was mentioning earlier that potentially like says the Giants are at fault for his like the severity of his injury here. This is where it says Paul Schwartz of the New York Post reports that Jones suffered structural damage to his neck all the way back in week 11 against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Jones then took additional hits following uh, the following week against Philadelphia. And Dan Benton of Giants Wire has the quote here from Paul Schwartz. The quote says, The concern is that if Jones plays, he could do further damage to the neck, which suffered some structural damage in the loss in Tampa in Week 11. Are you, are you serious? If this is the case, there's not much. The rest of the article is literally on the screen if you guys want to read it out to yourselves. I've obviously, I've read it already. Listen. If Daniel Jones had the structural damage since week 11 and then the giants medical staff coaching staff front office i don't care who the giants they said yeah bro you're good go ahead go play in one of the most violent sports in history uh and and, and go and injure that neck some more let's let's run you into some more linebackers and we know you you don't like to slide you like to dive head first so we know that thing's gonna get hit up more are you serious? The moment this man had any type of neck pain, neck strain, he should have been questionable for Philadelphia. Then he goes in against Philadelphia. I remember we were told initially that he injured a neck very early on, like the second play of the game. We're talking a minute into the game, maybe two minutes maximum into the game. He injures that neck. With this new information, what does that mean? He has that structural damage week 11. Then week 12, he goes in and he further damages it literally like two minutes into the game. Are you trying to end his life? And it might sound exaggerated, but that's the severity of the situation that we're talking about right now. You forget potentially ending this man's career because that's the worst case or that's the second worst case scenario here. The worst case scenario with something as serious as this is it's life threatening. And if this is true, and I keep saying if this is true, because once again, I haven't seen this reported anywhere else as of right now. But if it is true, the Giants got to be held accountable some way, man. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. We come on here as fans. We talk all about, you know, we talk all the time about how the team isn't supporting the quarterback as much as they probably should be. They're not giving him you know, the right pieces. And when he does get the right pieces, they're injured and he doesn't show up. And now it's like literally the team is, is getting this man killed. Not even in the metaphorical sense anymore. But subtracting that part of the equation from it, right? Subtracting the Giants may or may not be at fault here. This is still a serious situation either way. This is still a situation where I think Daniel Jones is out for the season. And if he's not officially out for the season, now that we know he has structural damage, he should be out for the season. You should sit that man. He sh take take the season off. There's no reason to risk your life, man. For real. Put your thoughts down below. Let me know what you all think. Uh, I really want to want to see what you guys have to say about it. Like the video, share it, subscribe, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.